It'll always be my day one. The type of the vessel for us it is a diffuse and the size of the porous are largest. For the shape of the porous, I can see it is a rounded. And for their arrangement, it is solitary or oblique radial. And for the width of the ray, it's very fine and not visible to naked eyes. And I, I didn't see any paragyma for this species. For another characteristic, the structure of the wood has a distinct germinal band and the red brown in the color. For the all characteristic, I can say it is a Pintango species. The type of porous is diffused and the vessels are arranged in diagonal or radial pattern in multiples. Some large vessels with tail-like appendages while the small vessels of 4 to 8 are arranged in a series and they are arranged in short oblique lines. And the width of ray is narrow so from the characteristic I can say this is a Gorongang species. For the type of the vessel porous are diffuse and their size of the porous is very large and individually distinct. For the shape of the porous are oval and their arrangement mostly solitary. And for the ray for the width of the ray for this structure of wood, they have a two distant size. For another characteristic I can see is a the structure surface of the wood have a pale ripple mark. For the all the characteristic, I can say it is a durian species. From the picture, I can say the type of porous is diffuse, oval shape, and medium size. The vessels are arranged in radial multiple. The width of the ray is narrow, and the rays are reddish in color in color. The soft tissues are not distinct under hand lens and the longitudinal surface faintly speckled and flat by darker color rays. So from this characteristics I can say this is a Kedong Dong species. For the type of the vessel porous are diffuse and the size of the porous are larger. For another characteristic, you can see the shape of the porous are rounded and the arrangement mostly solitary. For next characteristic is a uh, it has a pot ray and silver figure on the radial surface. For the all characteristic, I can say it is a uh, mampisan. The type of porous is diffuse and small in size and in oval shape. The vessels are arranged in radial groups in chain-like formation. The soft tissue in this species is narrow closely spaced bands and the width of width and the width of rays are very fine and not visible to the naked eye. There are some shiny surface on the vessels. So based on the characteristics this is a Nyato species. For the type of vessel porous for this structure of wood are diffuse and their size of the vessel porous are largest and distinct to naked eyes. For arrangement of the porous are mostly radio pair or multiple. And obviously I can see its structure of wood have a thylysis abundant. For the all characteristic, I can say it is a rubber wood species. 
from this picture I can see the type of the porous is diffuse and there are few vessels in this species and most of them are in radial pair. The vessel's perforation is simple or scalariform. The soft tissue in this species are irregularly spaced terminal bands. The width of the ray is very fine and I can't see the type of the parenchyma. There are also some shiny end cuts on the radial surface in this species. So from the characteristics, I can say this is a Panarahan species. That's all from us. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.